everybody well last time I seen y'all we were talking about my food stuff I eat and I was telling y'all a story about coffee I hope I'm in frame uh, anyway I'd never drunk coffee that much maybe a time or two and I did not like it so I got to drinking it and I noticed that um, I, I felt bad every time I drunk it. Okay, before I had my surgery, I was diabetic. And I had to take two uh, pills, 2,000 milligram pills every day. And the air conditioner kicked on again. Uh, yeah, it's hot down here in Alabama. Uh, probably about close to 100 a day. So anyway, I started drinking coffee and I got to feeling bad every time. And ever since I had the surgery, instead of having uh, to take the medicine for being diabetic, my sugar has been perfect. A1C is just perfect. And I started drinking the coffee and it was making my sugar bottom out. And I could not figure out why and uh, to get it back up um, I would have to you know ingest something with sugar um, to get it uh, back stable when it, when it would drop I would just shake I mean I couldn't hardly function so um, one thing that uh, they told me to do is drink some orange juice because anything with sugar this liquid will get into your system quicker uh, than something you would eat um, I did not know that but that is something new I learned um, so and I love orange juice and Higgly Wiggly orange juice is my favorite hands down orange juice there is no matter what brand the name brands Tropicana or I, I can't even think of no brand names uh, but Pig Wheelie has always been my favorite I worked there as a teenager and um, it was a good place to work but anyway that that's always been my favorite flavor or uh, brand name maker of orange juice so anyway You've got you've got your orange juice. You could drink that, or you could just eat something with sugar in it. Now I told y'all before that uh, after my sleeve surgery, anything with sugar, a lot of sugar, will give you what they call dumping syndrome. Yeah, just like it sounds. I have to go back there all day. So one little thing of sugar to get my blood up will put me in the bathroom all day. So don't call me. Don't want me to come over. Can't. Busy. But when I got to, I got to. Um, and this is what I like to use if, if I've got to have some actual sugar sugar and I don't have no orange juice or nothing. Um, these are yogurt covered raisins. Uh, I, I like them, but they, they don't like me. So when I need something to pick me up, sometimes I have to have some of this. And I like them. This is, this is another thing I use. So, but what what the best thing I guess I could use are these things called glucose tabs um, they, there are six vials in this box each vial has ten tablets they're about big as a quarter and thick as four quarters maybe stacked on top of each other um, but these are grape flavored 
Uh, I've seen it. Walmart has them. I know, and I'm sure other stores do. I know Walmart has like Tropical Punch. Um, I don't remember many of the flavors, but um, but yeah, this is this is what I have to, to do if my sugar drops. So um, to start with, with the coffee deal, I was thinking it may have been the sugar substitute because I had three or four different kinds that I was trying out. Um, Stevia has been my main steady sugar source uh, substitute, but I had like a sweet and low and a, a Splenda and something else. Say with two or three different ones. One, uh, this is Stevia. I, I had one that had, um, oh, I can't think of the ingredients, aspartame maybe, was one of the sweeteners, and I don't remember, I, I can't remember, but I know, I know one the doctors told me to stay away from, that it would make me have the dumping syndrome, and it was anything was, I think, sucrose? added in with it so I stay away from that one but um, I eat mostly the same things every day I mean not every day but for these past few months and I mean a lot of people say it would get old to them but I mean it is what it is that's what I had to do which I'm still losing um, so I'm still having to eat mostly the more diet daddy food and I do eat a lot of salads and for, for a long time I, I, I ate salads anyway and use the Dollar General brand um, dressing and I want to say it was uh, the, the buttermilk ranch or the ranch or the buttermilk ranch one was a hundred and ten calories per two tablespoons and the other was 125 calories per tablespoon so after um, starting on this diet and stuff there's something in my eye I found um, the family dollar I was in there one day and I was just looking at salad dressings and they had one that was 50 calories for two tablespoons so that's like half. So instead of two tablespoons, I could have four tablespoons for the same calories. And it was it was hard to keep on the shelf. A lot of people used it. I would buy eight, ten bottles at a time because if, if they had it, I needed it because I eat a lot of salad. And, you know, and about a month, no, two months ago, closed down they shut the door so they went all my salad dressing I'm like what am I going to do so I went into the Piggly Wiggly one day to look at their salad dressings and it just happened to be that I found this brand called Savory Collection and this is this is plain uh, dressing this is creamy ranch and for two tablespoons, it is 25 calories. So that that's even further down than uh, I was getting it from that family dollar. And I went, and they were out the other day, and I, didn't, I couldn't find one, so I went to a different store. They happen to have the same dressing, but in a fat-free version. So this one here was 25 calories. 25 calories for two tablespoons. Well, this right here is 15 calories for two tablespoons. So, and I mean, it's pretty good for fat-free. But this is pretty good. I mean, they're not 
any kind of craft or Hidden Valley Ranch or anything like that, but they're good. They're good to me, and I'm the one that has to eat this junk, so it all works out good to me. Okay. Um, we make um, lasagna, and then instead of the pasta noodles, we make it with cauliflower. That's right, cauliflower. That's that's pretty good. I never would think I, I would ever eat anything like that in my life, but I do. And uh, and it's good. We make a big portion of it and put in um, put it in the pan and let, let it cool. And I will cut it up and divide it into portion sizes. And I got a bunch of these little cheap plastic bowls from the dollar store. And I portion them up and I put them in the freezer. Same thing with everything else I cook. But some days I just want a, like a chicken finger. And I have an air pot, an air fryer. If y'all don't know what that is, y'all need to look it up. That is a handy, handy, handy piece of equipment for the kitchen. But anyway, if I have chicken fingers, I will use spicy brown mustard. And it is a Piggly Wiggly brand too. I mean, I've, I've used this brands from the Dollar Tree. I mean, um, but this is just as good to me. This is only five calories a teaspoon. So, uh, you look at ketchup. Ketchup is a lot more because it's got the sugar in it. But this mustard is pretty good. So, um, this is what I, this is my condiment. My two condiments I, I use the most. Um, and that's, that's going to be it for this video. But, stay tuned, because when I get done at this table, I'm going right over there, and I'm going to make some black bean soup. That's right, black bean soup. That is my, one of my things I make, bulk, in bulk, and put in the little bowls and freeze, and then whenever I need it, I can just go ahead and get it, put it in the microwave, and in four minutes, boom, it's ready. So, y'all watch, y'all be watching up for that video coming up after this one. Um, so, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to go over to Mimi's life and show her some love. She needs some subscribers. Come on, share, like, share. I know y'all can. I know y'all can. Y'all have a good day.